Hey everybody, how's it going? Welcome to another episode of the Finishing Blow. Hopefully you guys are having an awesome week. What a crazy, weird, awesome week it's been. A lot of stuff happened on the website, but in case you guys weren't there to check it out, I'll recap it for you right here in this video. Let's kick some things off though with some character posters for Jackie Chan's Dragon Blade film. Now if you guys are aware, it's got Jackie Chan, Adrian Brody, and John Cusack in the movie, and they all have character posters. I don't know how I feel about them. I've tried to let it sink in, but it just looks super glamorized, I guess is the only way I can phrase it. The, the, the characters look like they belong on the cover of a romance novel or something. I don't know how to describe it, but they look nice. The production value is amazing, but they just look a little dreamy. If that makes any sense, I don't know what I'm, I, I don't even know what I sound like right now, but I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. But anyways, the movie is going to be awesome. I really think it's going to be good. There's, there's a lot of hype around this film. There's a lot of big names in it. I think it's going to be a solid film. It's just these character posters, I think they put a lot of like effort into making them look good. And so the guys look a little bit more glamorized than probably they do in the movie. But who knows? Maybe it's a super stylized movie and I'm just talking... Just air is coming out of my mouth right now. I don't know. But anyways, let me know what you guys think. If you guys think I'm, I'm over-exaggerating. Or if you think that the uh, posters look a little bit off. Like something about them is off. Anyways, moving onwards, we got some news that Louis Ku is going to be playing the villain in SPL 2. Now, this movie is already has a lot of anticipation for it. Wu Jing's going to be in it. Tony Jaw's in it. I'm pretty sure they're going to be fighting each other. And you've got Louis Ku as the villain. Now, when I first heard this, I didn't know how I felt about it. You know, Louis Ku is a super talented actor, don't get me wrong. But when it comes to action, I know that he um, injured his knee, I believe it was, earlier um, in some previous film, I don't remember what movie it was, but in some previous film he injured his knee, and I know it took him a very long time to recover, so I don't know if he's still prone to injury, if he can do the same level of action that he's been used to performing at. And so, um, SVL2 sounds like it's, it's kind of upped everything. Uh, Wu Jing said that he actually got knocked unconscious because he had to do a take where his head bounced off a glass table over and over again, and he actually lost consciousness during this take, which is insane. But at the same time, Wu Jing is known to kind of beat himself down a lot. The, I forgot what movie it was, but there was a movie, I think, oh, it's, it's slipping my mind. It's the one where he plays, um... Oh, I'm not going to remember. It's the one where he fights for money, and he actually gets knocked out, and he wanted to feel the sensation of being knocked out, so he actually let one of the stars knock him out, but I don't remember what movie it was called. It's it's going to bug me. I'm supposed to know these kind of things, and it's going to bug me. But anyways, the, the point of the matter is a lot of people are putting blood, sweat, tears, everything into SPL2, and I think it's going to be a solid movie that everybody is going to enjoy. Moving on, though, for a movie that I know everyone is excited about is The Expendables 3. Now, they got a full-blown official trailer, if you have not seen it yet. It is amazing. I, I, even if you haven't seen the other two Expendables movies, I think you can really get excited about this. Plus the fact that they opened the trailer with uh, breaking Wesley Snipes out of jail, which I think is perfect. I think that's so on point. But the, the collaboration between everybody, you know, that you've got... Uh, the stunt where the motorcycle's going up the building and Stallone's making a joke about that. They couldn't take the stairs and things like that. So you've got the young, young, energetic crew who wants to do things differently than the old crew who knows what works and wants to stick to what they do. And I think it's going to be good. Now, obviously, the trailer kind of shows a lot more of the story that's going to happen. And obviously, um, the younger team is not as talented as the original crew is. But I think it's going to be a good movie nonetheless. I'm really excited for it. Uh, August cannot come soon enough for this movie. I enjoyed the first one very, very much. The second one kind of, kind of, um, I guess... I needed to lower my expectations a little bit more because I felt like I was too excited for the movie and I think I was a little bit more disappointed with it. But it was still a good, solid action flick. So hopefully with the third one, they've got the action, they've got the chemistry, they've got everything mixed together, and it's going to be a very solid movie. All right, moving onwards, I actually got to do a special post for you guys about John Savidi's Super Scraps style. Now, this is really, really cool. Um, John has been in... Uh, in production with Pound of Flesh, and he was working with Jean-Claude Van Damme, and everybody's been kind of dubbing this style that John has created as the Savidi Super Scraps. So if you guys want to learn more about it, I highly recommend it. It's it's an awesome, awesome little uh, 
look into the filming industry and how choreography is changing, whether we notice it or not, it's always evolving and I think it's really, really cool. So please give it a look. And also, if you have not seen my interview with John Salviti, I left a link in the original article as well so that you can check that out. But thank you so much to John and everybody who made that article possible. It was such a fun ride and I can't wait to post more news for you guys about Pound of Flesh as well as some cool little tidbits in the near future. All right, so next up, we have some images that Donnie posted on his Facebook page, but didn't tell us what movie it's for. He said it's for his preparation for his next film, but he didn't actually tell us. Now, a lot of people are saying it's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, uh, the sequel to that, which makes the most sense because they're starting it now. But at the same time, Donnie has been known to prep for roles and things like that um, while he's on set for other films. So I don't know if that's necessarily the case. Uh, I've seen a couple people guess that it may be uh, the master film, or it may even be the, uh, I think it was Dragon City, where he plays uh, a police officer in the closed city, um, but I'm not too sure. He did slyly put the Ip Man 3, or Ip Man hashtag, sorry, Ip Man hashtag on these images, which may just be to get people excited about the film, but it was kind of sneaky, and I, I did I did enjoy that a little bit, but Regardless of what movie it's for, he looks in top shape, and he looks like a boss, just like always. And I know whatever film it is, I'm going to be excited to see it. So hopefully you guys enjoy those images as well. All right, lastly on the new side of things, this it was kind of an intense week, now that I think about it. But anyways, lastly on the new side of things, we had the announcement that the Kickboxer remake will have Lornell Stovall as the action choreographer. Now, Lorna has worked on a bunch of different films, especially the Undisputed 3 movie, I think is what he's most well known for, as well as the Immortal Kombat uh, Legacy Season 2 choreography. So it's um, comforting to know that he will be working on this movie, and I think that it's going to be solid because you've got everybody who has martial arts backgrounds. You've got Larnell and all these other people who are going to be working on it who are passionate about the art, and I think that the remake should be good, but you know how got, how you guys, let me, let me try that again. You guys know how I am a little bit leery when it comes to remakes in general. So, will it be a good film? I'm not necessarily sure. Obviously, this is just cast announcements. Nothing else has been revealed, but it's very, very interesting to know who's going to be working on the film so that we can expect um, a certain level of quality. So anyways, let me know what you guys think about that announcement as well as anything else I've covered in the past week. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that I did. I did post a photo. If you guys uh, don't follow me on Facebook, it, it, it wasn't really worth um, writing an article about. I'll, I'll post it right there. Boom. Eddie Peng as Wong Fei Hong with his super amazing gaze and pose. I think that movie is going to be awesome too. That's a remake I'm looking forward to. But anyways, uh, that's the only other thing I think I posted over the course of the week. But of course, I finished the week off with a review for Rigor Mortis. Now this movie is not necessarily the genre that I would do a review for, but it's one of those special exceptions. You know, it's it's a throwback to Mr. Vampire, but not a remake or a reimagining but an homage, I don't know how, I still don't know what you would call it, but Rigor Mortis, I did a review for it. It was a really, really, really interesting film. And it's one of those that when you first finish watching it, your initial response, and after you let it sink in for a few hours or a day or so, what you think about the movie changes, if that makes any sense. It's one of those that you really, really have to think about. And so that may be off-putting for some people who want just kind of a, a crazy action film and nothing else. But uh, please give my review a read. Um, the movie, I think, is coming out July 8th. So if you guys have not seen it yet, read the review. There's no spoilers or anything like that in there. And let me know what you guys think about it. If you have seen the movie, let me know what you thought about it. If you enjoyed it, if you did not enjoy it. I'm always curious to know what you guys think about these movies. Whew. Okay, I'm done. I, I feel like I've been going full steam for quite some time now, but I really do appreciate it. You guys are truly awesome, and I can't wait for next week. I'm I'm so excited. I'm going to try and keep this momentum, give you guys more articles, more news, hopefully more interviews, things like that. So stay tuned for that. Get excited, and that's all I got. So thank you guys so much for watching. This is Kay Miller, and this week has been finished.